Hey guys, welcome to the TriStar Gym channel. Today's episode, I'm gonna be training. I'm training with my friend Haytham, old student of mine from back in the day before I was with even before I was with TriStar. Haytham was one of my students back in the day. Remember the Vanya days? The Vanya uh, days. <laughs> a little bit of illegal fighting going on back in the college days, a small amount. And today he's still at. He's still training here in San Diego. I'm here for the Joe Rogan show. For those of you who wanna tune in tomorrow, I will be on Joe Rogan. I did a uh, reverse the Lahiva video instructional recently. I'm sure you got it, right? Yes, absolutely. He didn't get it. <laughs> so I flew all the way here to San Diego to make sure he gets a crash course in reverse de la Hiva. Now, when I did the video, I was giving Haytham a crash course in reverse de la Hiva, so we've been looking at it, and he asked me a really important question. A question I didn't cover in the DVD yet, is part two will be coming out. I'm gonna do a reverse de la Hiva part two, and one of these details is so important. Okay, so watch here. I got reverse de la Hiva, and Haytham was asking, can we just rotate a little bit like this? Why don't we put the foot here anymore? Okay, and I talked about the importance of protecting your foot from leg locks. My opponent can always grab this foot here and leg lock me. Okay, so what we've been doing now is we've been hiding the foot underneath. Okay, so we're hiding the foot underneath. We got the shin going in the knee. But what happens sometimes, my opponent will try to open my shins towards my left ear. Try to open exactly. When he does that, it's very hard for me now to push into his shin. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook his leg and I'm going to shrimp inside just like this. And now watch, I got my feet in a cradle position. I'm gonna stretch, come up to my hand, pinch, pull him backwards, pull him backwards, and climb my weight to the back. Okay, so let's see how you can do it here. Okay, he's in reverse Belahiba. This is what we reviewed in the, in the DVD. You're hiding your foot. It's hard for me now to leg lock you. It's not impossible, it's just difficult. Now it's very hard for me to pass this direction because like, like I was showing in the, the video, the guy will spin under your legs or leg lock you. So what do they do? They try to put you flat on your back. So stay on your side here, watch this. I'm gonna force Haytham back on his back, flat. Watch, I flatten you out. When I flatten you out, I have to bring this leg close. I can't flatten you out from here. See, I cannot, I cannot reach you. So once your opponent starts to flatten you out, he's bringing the, the far leg too close to you. Now you switch into a X card. Now watch this. Look at this X card. This is what we call X card press. You have the bottom foot is on the inside of the knee and the top foot is on the outside of the knee, so you're cradling here like this. You have a nice cradle on my knee. And you're in a pressed position. This is very, very strong. I don't care if the guy on top of you is very, very athletic. He cannot pinch his knees together here. He cannot resist this force here. This leg press position is way too strong. You're gonna stretch your legs, stretch your legs. That's gonna bring my hands down to the mat. He's gonna start coming up. He's gonna pinch the knee. Now, freeze here, when you pinch the knee, I cannot kick away. There's no, there's no slipping out. Okay. Once I'm here, I cannot kick away. He's gonna climb to the back and he's established back position, okay? So let's see here, I'm gonna do it again. Now watch here on top. I got the De La Hiva. Let's look at it from a different angle. So rotate, rotate, rotate. I'm here, I wanna be on my side. I wanna flow into leg locks. I wanna spin to the back. But my opponent's gonna flatten me out. Watch, when he flattens me out, watch this. I hook that leg. And now look, my hips are gonna face the opposite direction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the flow here. Look at my feet, I have that cradle position. One foot on the inside, one foot on the outside. I'm in that X, X, X guard press position. I'm gonna push, come up to my hand, technical get up, pinch, pinch. Walk backwards, walk backwards, walk backwards. Pull your man in, climb to the back. Okay. Let's see you do it again. Different direction. My partner's going to the Delhi guard. He's flat on his back, excuse me, he's on his side. I wanna flatten him out, when I flatten him out, gonna throw me to the outside, X card press position. Come up, drag, 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 climb to the back. Cool, All right, let's do that one last time. Make sure we get a good look at the foot position. So let's go over here. I'm here, I got the reverse Delahiva. I'm on my side, life is good. He flattens me out. I underhook, I face the same direction as him. Like you just stand up a second, stand up. Watch this, one butterfly hook on the outside, one, sole of the foot on the inside. Now when you push, his hands are gonna to go to the mat. Legs on my shoulder. I push, 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 come up. And look at this, a lot of people hold the man like this. This man can slip out now, watch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very common. Go back here. I bend the knee, here I pull him back. And now I got a good grip. Try to pull out of this. Pull, he's not coming out. To drag him back, climb your way up to the, to the back. Make sense? <laughs> 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 Guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode.